The Mark Dacey Show, brought to you on Broadband Box Office Network, coming to you directly from the East Coast at VK Media Studios. We stream live every second Monday of the month, and we're archived on iTunes. So, like us on Facebook. Now, enjoy the show. Deals, big deals, I got your big deals, got your big deals, got your big deals, you got your big deals, hot deals, hot big deals, hey, hot big deals, hey, hey get your hot big deals, hey, get your hot big deals, hi. Am I over VUing already? <laughs> hi, hi. <clears throat> Thanks for tuning in. Gajigadu, bubadita, gadigadigu, bubudigu badita, gadigadu, didn't 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 If I had ever been here before, I would probably know just what to do. Don't you? I keep remembering me. I keep remembering you. Deja vu. And I do the one with Jay Z and Beyonce, but I don't remember how it goes. Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. I must tell you right up front that I have no idea what I'm doing, <laughs> and neither is Pat, obviously, for quite a while. But that having been said, I would like to welcome you to the show with any camera I possibly can find that actually works tonight. <laughs> anyway, at least, hi. How you doing? Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. So we're casting out our pod to the universe. I'm Mark Dacey. Welcome. Appearing in the show tonight, the band Eastern Potato with an A. That's right. For all you Dan Quayle fans, no, I'm just, it's with an A. Yes. Right here, live in the studio, playing difficult material. But fun stuff, challenging. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, they'll be asking musical questions. So there'll be references. Um, Actually, I haven't heard their music. I can't. I, I have no idea. No, no, I have, and they're great. So I'm just saying. Other than that, there's not a hell of a lot of continuity in the show tonight. <laughs> Except déjà vu. Except déjà vu. Except déjà vu. Cause I remember the first time I was on camera. D do you have a Do you have a moment? I'd I'd like to share it with you if I might. The presidential primary campaign to elect Ted Kennedy for president hired me to sing up the crowd at the New Jersey headquarters on primary night 1980. That's right. <laughs> Why me, you ask? Well, a friend of mine thought that I was pretty good and I could show everybody up good time. He thought I was kind of entertaining, <laughs> as a promising entertainer would be. Yeah. And also, he knew somebody at the New Jersey headquarters to elect Ted Kennedy for president and convinced him to hire me after he dragged them out to see me perform at a nightclub that I was particularly successful at one particular night. Needless to say, I was flattered to have been asked. Still, that was no guarantee that I knew what I was doing then either. <laughs> as I'm about to explain to you. <laughs> Will you stand by? Please stand by for important incoming news. <laughs> Actually, of course it's news. It's not all, if it were olds, it would be done already. That's why news is called news. It's, it's just, we think of it as the news. Because it's, it's, it's the news. The news is seven o'clock. The news is 6.30. It's not, it's just, it's, it's just because it's not the olds, which, which happened a long time ago. Unless, of course, you're that new guy with the HBO special. Anyway, okay, um, so I get to, the, to, to go back to the deja vu of my first time in front of a camera. I'm at the Ted Kennedy to elect uh, him a uh, president. Uh, and so I, I, I'm asked to go there and, and, and to, to be wonderful and entertaining, which I, I certainly intend on doing. So I get there, I set up my PA equipment, and I play some backgroundy music for a while. Uh, and then uh, the party manager comes over and says to me, when the lights come on, it's national news, okay? So I want you to sing the best song you got. I say, well, I don't say, of course, that's his voice, isn't it? 
I almost got confused for a second. I said, well, of course. Of course I will. I'm going to sing the best song that I can. It's national news. Walter Cronkite is going to introduce me. It's significant. Okay. So the best th song I think I got because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll return to this theme that I don't know what I'm doing from time to time, but you'll probably guess that from time to time by yourself. Anyway, uh, so um, uh, I'm going to do the best song that I have, which in my mind, even though I don't know what I'm doing, is a song where I can wow them by doing my, my mouth uh, bugle, which goes... And I can sound exactly like Ray Charles. So it's great. I know what I'm going to do. So it works every time. It's not going to work this time, though. And that's the thing. So, all right, a little background here. It seems Jimmy Carter, who was our president, was running against Senator Kennedy. And President Carter was from Georgia, originally. Ted Kennedy from Massachusetts. Now back to the show. Okay, so we're counting down 7 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. I hear some guy over there in the corner go, lights, speed, and we're rolling. <laughs> Someone points at me and I start singing the lyrics of the best song that I can possibly do. Georgia, Georgia, yeah, the whole day through. It's just an old sweet song. Keeping Georgia. Now, I'm nine seconds into national broadcast and I've said the state Georgia three times in nine seconds. <laughs> Mind you, that's the state that Jimmy Carter is from, not Ted Kennedy. <clears throat> but I don't know what I'm doing. So, suddenly commotion breaks out among the ranks and some guy runs over to me, all the lights go off, and he says what I'm not prepared to or expect him to say to me. What the f was that? <laughs> He remarks, and he says then, now play old Cape Cod and make it fast. But I can't play old Cape Cod because I don't know how to play old Cape Cod. And that's where Ted Kennedy is from, not Jimmy Carter. Not like Georgia, where President Carter is from, and I'm playing at Ted's New Jersey headquarters <clears throat> on primary freaking night. <laughs> national news yeah <clears throat> but I could break down my equipment in a hurry and leave fast by the side door in a heartbeat because even though I had no idea what I was doing at the start of the performance it slowly began to dawn on me that I may have made a mistake and engendered some offense which was in fact achieving the exact opposite of what I wanted to do and what I was hired to do in the first place because I don't know what I'm doing. But there are certain things that you should remember after a while if they're repeated often enough. And I think I finally figured out why I was asked to leave that night. But it's not like, you know, somebody would say it to me over and over again or something you would memorize like, like the Brady Bunch song because it just, you know, ultimately came to me. So, here's a story of a lovely lady who was bringing up three very lovely girls all had hair of gold like their mother the youngest one in curls it's the story of a man named Brady who was busy with three boys of his own there were four men living all together but they were all alone everyone till the one day when the lady met this fellow uh huh and they knew that it was much more than a hunch that this group must somehow form a family that's the way they all became the Brady Bunch the Brady Bunch the Brady Bunch that's the way we became the Brady Georgia there you go so that's the answer. anyway speaking of three lovely ladies I'd like to speak about women if I might if I might am I still on camera too <laughs> who am I asking as if there's like someone in charge here I, I don't know. Am I still on camera two? I'll, I'll look at camera two like I really mean it. What? Three. Three. Well, I don't even know where that camera is. There's no number on that camera. Thank you very much. Camera six. Stop it. Get your own show. Like this is a show or something. Okay, well, anyway. 
I, you know, deja vu. So maybe you heard this before. But, of course, women have come a long way in the past century. They even got your own cigarette now, baby. We've come a long, long way. Well, maybe not anymore. But anyway, in the past, in the past you know, century, women have uh, the right to vote. Can you imagine? I, you know, and, they, uh, and, and they have their own cigarette, but it's slim. Yep. Okay. In the previous century, many women did not even know what an orgasm was. No. Nor did they know how to achieve it. Now, guys today look at each other and they go, what? Because we've been achieving since we were like 12 or something. But anyway, uh, but let's face it, women have had it rough. They certainly have. Some women developed what was then in the 19th century and the 18th century referred to at the time as hysteria and brought to their family physician for relief. This is true. This is history. And granted, a lot of men still do not know how to give women relief. Uh, at that time, they went to their doctor. And he actually stimulated them to orgasm with, well, whatever means was available. That was the medical treatment for hysteria at the time, in case you didn't know the derivation of the word hysteria. There were actual medical devices for that procedure. Hmm. I can't imagine what they were. I mean, you know, Dr. Phillips comes home after a hard day's work. Hi, honey, I'm home. Hello, dear. Roasted chicken for dinner. Brandy's on the table. And how was your day? Well... I put Johnny Smith's broken arm in a cast. I prescribed codeine for Mr. Bradley's cough. I took care of Sam Haber's foot. And I French tickled Mrs. Johnson until she screamed like a banshee. How was yours? Oh, nothing quite as exciting as all that, dear. I did the wash, cleaned the house, made lunch, and went to see Dr. Miller for that ailment. <laughs> Oh, what a relief it is. But anyway, uh, unlike some societies in the rest of the world, we in Western civilization strive to be equal. But men and women are different, of course. Vive la différence, I say. Certainly. Absolutely. I mean, our genes are, 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 are different, you know, not the ones we just wear. I mean, our, from very inception, men and women are different. That's not an excuse to treat us differently, but that's what happens. One sperm contains the Y chromosome, the other sperm contains the X chromosome. And even as they swim to the egg, it, they do it differently. Okay, for instance, the male completes his deposit. All right, the sperm is ejaculated into the female. Okay, the shining pleasure shaft of love is plunged into the vortex of naughtiness. All right, granted. Okay, but, all right, now, what happens is... The male sperm try to get there faster and harder, and they swim right away from the point of entrance to the A point A to point B, because let's get there harder and faster. Even if it doesn't know where we're going, we'll never stop and ask directions. They just keep swinging their tail and swimming, you know, and, and eventually we'll get there. That's the way the male sperm, th even from the, that's, what, that's when we start thinking that way. Okay, team, north. <laughs> well, we'll find it while <clears throat> all of the X chromosomes are still doing the same thing. The Y chromosome, the female sperm, are like, as soon as they enter, I love what you've done with this place. Pink and red. It's, it goes together. It's perfect. <laughs> it's spectacular. And, <clears throat> you know, if they see somebody they know, it's like, Yoo-hoo, Helen, over here, it's me, Vanessa. Darling, how are you? I haven't seen you since the gonads. What? What's Roger up to? I don't know. He's just going on with the other boys up ahead. By the way, your tail looks fabulous. Have I told you? No, absolutely. Yes. Well, I'm on my way to the egg. You too? Great. Join me. We'll have lunch. <laughs> then we'll have twins. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying, that men and women are different. <laughs> I hope that Dr. Phillips doesn't show up again. Whenever he gives relief, it's like a vibrating Chrysler building coming right through the middle of town here. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. So. And as many of us already know, we develop tails in the womb. Did you know that? Yeah. Did you? We actually, we have tails in the womb. They don't, they don't, they don't grow to uh, fully develop. But I mean, you know, if, if, I, it would be cool if we did have tails. Don't you think? It would be really good, cool. I mean, you know, cop pulls you over. What's the trouble, officer? Uh, please step out of the vehicle. When all of a sudden the Jack Daniel bottles falls out, woo, tail goes between the legs. Eh, that's not mine, officer. Is that, what's the tail doing between your legs? I, I, it wasn't my, it's my, not my tail. Guys like, 
Paul Ryan or O.J. Simpson, they'd have to wear a tail suppressor all the time, a Bruno Mogli tail suppressor perhaps. Otherwise, are you a former football great? Yes, I am. Were you involved in movies and running through airports to advertise a rental car company? Yes, I was. Did you kill your wife? Uh, no. So I'm just saying if, if we had tails. Because did you kill your wife? PSA, right now, and we'll be right back. Do you know what I mean? It's no more talk of, of such uh, until we come back. When, when we do come back. Oh, I, I have something to tell you. The yep. air dances with the waters, which brings the rain that feeds the land, that is home to the animals. All life dances together. In a world so connected, Choosing one environmental cause can be hard. Earthshare is 40 environmental charities working together. You and your company can help by calling 1-800-MY-SHARE. All life lives or doesn't together. Oh, well, okay. You know what drives me nuts? <laughs> I'll tell you what drives me nuts in 25 words or less. What drives me nuts is when you're on the phone and some representative who's asking you for your PIN or your VIN number or your WIN number or is speaking to you about your address, and then they keep repeating the digits immediately after you speak them. Like, uh, uh, what's your address, sir? Uh, it's 619. 619. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? But uh, uh, that's 619. 619? Uh, yes, 619 Main Street. Main Street? Six, nine, all right, I'm going to say six, 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 one, 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 six. That's it, drive you nuts. I can be on the, uh, on the phone for hours talking to these people. <clears throat> As you can see, it's already driven me nuts. Okay, well, I, there's no need to repeat that. Just let me say the whole 619 Main Street, any town, New Jersey. Okay, did you get that? I'll say it again. Oh, but, you know, no. It's six, 619, six, 619. <laughs> okay, fine. All right, I'm only going to say this once. And you'll have to find someone to repeat it simultaneously. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present Eastern Potato.
So, whose influence are you under? Eastern Potato! Eastern Potato Show, that, thank you. Welcome to the show, guys. Thanks for having us, Mark. What thank wonderful, so much, Mark. wonderful, wonderful stuff. Um, let's start off with a couple of easy questions. I know that our audience wants to know everything about you because that's different stuff. That is different, and they're gonna want they're gonna want answers. And I'm just again. So first of all, Joe, can, can, can let, let, let me ask you because you're you're a friend of mine, and I know these guys as well, but not as well as you. So, for, what is the global economic effect that you think is derived from improved plastic extrusion methods in the mid 20th century Japanese reconstruction period? So, transistor radios. Transistor. What? Oh. Uh, John? Uh, little Godzillas. Little Godzillas. Joe? World peace. Absolutely. Okay, and uh, do you like asparagus? On my hot dogs. Yeah. No. John, no. I, I thought we were here to talk about the music, Mark. No, I'm no, sorry. no, I want to talk more about food. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the music. This is Joe Howell, this is John Hummel, and this is Joe Bellotti, and this is Eastern Potato. Um, Seriously, it's just wonderful. What, how refreshing and strange, and that's got, that's, I mean, it's hard music to play, to execute, and you guys did it really well, live. Um, what is that last song that we heard? The last song is called One Descending. And One that's Descending. A, that's a Joe Howell tune, and, uh, well. you know, usually we, um, either Joe or I comes in with an idea, and we work it out with uh, the three of us and orchestrate it, and, uh, that one was one of Joe's. One descend. Uh, it's really cool. It's a really cool sound. Uh, it's like Steely Dan goes to space or something. It's, that's what it reminds me of. And the first song was? That's called Spring in My Step. Spring in My Step. Spring in My Step. And, and, and that is one of Joe Bellotti's compositions. I don't really care. So how are you doing, Joe? <laughs> well, basically, you Thanks know, when I came here today, down. it was a beautiful day. Uh huh. Absolutely beautiful day. And I did then? A, I did, and then I, man, and you with you all that. Come and, down. and then I said, well, the bottle and, was. you know, I heard about the X and Y thing going on. The veg are there was, traffic lights no, it's there? Just, it's a vegetable something? thing. Oh, okay. Started with asparagus, That's and right, it's, just, it's working backwards. Okay. I'm trying to get. But can we get back to the music? Oh, right. Sorry, that's right. That's, that's why really here. why I'm here. See, Joe and I can talk like this like forever, man, because we have always talked like this. <laughs> well, basically, it's communicating on the same format that the world is communicating on now. They just go blah, 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 and tell you nothing. Oh, wait a minute. Huh? This is very important. I Googled you guys today, and we, we actually came up with a, a video of you guys rehearsing. Did you make this or put it on the, on the web by yourself? Right. Oh, sure. Pat, do you have that? Oh, snap. Do you have that up? I'd be, uh, I can see it coming. There it is. These guys are called potato, something oh, potato. Cool. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, quite rhythmic. Yeah. I'm Not a cool harmony going on. There's harmony, and uh, you guys look a little different. I, I think when, that when was before I changed my ethnicity. Man. <laughs> you were. You had me like I wasn't. Like, I, I'm cooler than that now, man. I can see. Why'd that. you post that, man? Because that uh, was like when we was, man. We we're a gang now. We, I am sending don't you. Don't do that no more. I'm sending you residuals. Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's quite wonderful, um, Mark. You've got a website, and you've got also an encore chat where you actually kind of do better than what I'm doing now, which is interview guys, especially up in Marsh County and, and, and folks that you know up in that area who are good musicians. Rio Clemente, I know, is on the show. Uh, uh, Chris Dellis. Chris Dellis. Um, Lots of. Mike uh, Mayo. Did I say uh, Rio Clemente? Yeah. He actually had uh, the nerds. You have the nerds on, and, really. Um, I think next week uh, there's going to be an appearance by somebody I know. Yeah, it was really kind of. Thing. It was fun yeah. doing it. It was fun to. And Smeed's music was great right there in Whippany. Whippany on in Pine uh, Plaza. A guy. So is George is his name? Uh, Pete. Uh, Pete, uh, a very nice gentleman, selling music, uh, selling musical instruments, uh, doing uh, a music store. Yeah, uh, doing lessons uh, for folks who still want to learn how to play an instrument, who still want to play a guitar, who want to learn how to write, who want to express their art. And find themselves and yeah, Mark, be spiritual. That's fine and all, all, but you know, yeah, can we get back to the band? The band, yeah. Like, my God in heaven. 
Do you guys have any recordings? Uh, we actually are finishing up a, a CD right now, and it should be done by the end of the month. Called? Um, Day Moon. Called what? Da da -da -da. <laughs> it's called It's called Day Moon. Day Moon. So, you, like, when you see the moon mm -hmm. in the daytime? Yeah, and you say, there's oh, Day there's Moon. There. Yeah. No, not, no, no, no. It's not, not like potato. <laughs> it's Day Moon. Oh, so why are you calling yourselves Eastern Potato? We needed a name a long time ago. How long? 30 years ago. Wow. Really? You guys have been playing yeah. that long? Yeah. And you haven't killed yourselves, uh, uh, bandmates. Nah. In, uh, no. no. Quite I'm the opposite. Love. Yeah, no, Quite I guess, the, yeah, I, I can see you guys fell in love with the music you're playing. But, uh, yeah. So, there's more, there's yeah, more yeah. to it than just... Yeah, we were sitting at my mom's kitchen table and we were like, let's just look through the paper. Maybe we'll, just something will jump out at us. And Agatha Crumb like, Jack jumped out at me. I liked <laughs> Agatha Crumb. I'm sorry to hear that. I hate you. I don't remember. Agatha, sure. Really? Agatha yeah. Crumb? And I didn't like that? No. I love it now. <laughs> 30, years, 30 years later, that would be a good like name. Someday you'll learn to love it. <laughs> so good. so, so you got, got to, like the path mark circular, looking yeah. through it, and I just saw Eastern potatoes were on sale that week. Yes, and, and I was like, up. Joe, that's it. Uh -huh. Joe didn't like it, um, <laughs> but but it's not about the name. It's about and the we music. We used it for the first gig, and it just kind of stuck. And now, and now, Eastern potato is actually for sale. With uh, you're going to sell your recordings. Yes, yes. not in Pathmark Circuit, there no, probably, no. but uh, and, uh, and hope to do some performing. But everybody's so busy. John's trotting the country and the globe with uh, several projects that he's in. Joe Bellotti is just educating everybody and their mother and trotting all over the the Jersey area and, and outskirts of New Jersey, um, playing music, wonderful music, all kinds of music. Um, what, what are some of the other uh, adventures that you guys are, are, are involved in? Well, Hellfire Sun, I'm in a Jimmy Buffett tribute band. It's <laughs> called Parrot Beach. Come see us sometime. <laughs> it's called what? Parrot Beach. Parrot Beach. And uh, Parrot I've been in that for 15 years. Yes. So it's... Uh, it's rewarding with, with, to it. Yeah. A, a Gary, with with Remy St. Martin. So. Mm -hmm. And uh, Gary Seitz, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, they're alter. Ah. Oh, yeah. yeah, look at what you just gave up. So that, that's been a... That's and John, what, what do you? What other projects are you doing? I almost saw your YouTube. Uh, uh, there was a YouTube. Uh, oh. You were in a tribute band. Uh, uh, is this is this right? Well, it's, it's not a tribute. It's band. not a tribute band, but it's uh, it's something. It's called the Bonzo Bash. It's a tribute to John Bonham. Okay. And, and why um, not? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, one of the best drummers ever. Yeah. Yes. And um, yeah, along with a bunch of really big time celebrity drummers, uh -huh. um, I somehow got invited. And I, I get to do it too, um, but there, wow, there's wow, a great. great the, the band is called the Moby Dicks, are a great band. Oh wow! And um, and they had the list of drummers. Like I mean, I, like the last one, Peter Chris was there. Oh, uh, Corky Lang was there. Uh huh. Um, you know, Bobby Rondinelli, uh, uh, Joe Franco. I mean, there's like there's the list is too long to keep going. But. One one of the great driving drum tunes, Moby Dick. Yeah, and then that whole thing it just goes crazy. Yeah. And the guy, the guy that puts it together is named Brian Tishy, and he's an amazing drummer. Uh -huh. And it's amazing he gets this whole thing to work. He gets like 20 drummers, crams them in one night, and and there's no attitudes. There's no. Mm. Well, you got it. Yeah. It's just fun. Yeah. Besides yeah. being a great drummer, he's a great guitar player. I yeah. mean, he he. The organization is also doing something a tribute to Randy Rhodes. Brian is just oh, a yeah, force. Yeah, right, He's a right. force to be reckoned with. I don't know how the man gets his energy yeah. and uh, does and right energy right. and organization is so hard. Just, just to put this little podcast together, you saw me running around with my head cut off before. Right. It's it's weird, but to have a guy like do that and if you're to get involved with other celebrities and stuff, it's got to be on the money and the bam, the sound and the people have to be so organized and stuff. I admire you and I, I and, and when I get an updated computer, someday <laughs> I am going to find that YouTube video uh, and, uh, and and watch it. Because I, I, yeah, I love what you're doing tonight. I would love to see you on a big stage. Um, Joe, what are you doing? Well, I'm a, I'm a teacher at a college. Um, what college is it? At the County College of oh, Morris. Yes. I've been yes. there for 25 years. I've also been playing with a band that uh, does a tribute to the Doors called The Soft Parade. Oh, you're with Soft Parade? With uh, Joe Russo's band. I did not know this. And then I, don't we, know, I don't even know you. I, don't, I forgot I didn't know you. <laughs> And we also play in a cover band together with my wife Joni, uh -huh. and that's called the Heart, Heart, of, Gold. Heart of Gold Band. Heart of Gold and, Band. Uh, so we're just doing, ha making any excuse that we can <laughs> to play together, you know. Well, why not? And, uh, uh, and this sounds like so much fun. We, it absolutely is. I mean, if if I could, you know, have it, I'd be playing every day with these mm -hmm. guys in one form or another. 
and so we're working hard to keep it keep it going. You you have the website which is a uh, uh, heart of gold band because I know I've yeah. been there. Does Eastern Potato have a website? Not yet. We're working on right. it because you know there's a guy who's walking around with all the hats on, making things happen, and he's he just he, he, he's just not he's just not around. Don't take me. I'm not the guy with the hat. I was going to lick you, but I just but, heard, oh. What? Well, wow, that's deep, but you know, it's... Just, I know, yeah. there's only um, so much time in but the But the Heart of Gold Band actually will be performing next Tuesday. Oh, evening. good. Where? Where? In, in Morristown, mm -hmm. uh, at an outdoor um, park called Ginty Field. Oh, yeah, it's, it's Ginty uh, Field, right. Next uh, Tuesday evening, which I think is June 9th. Does that sound right? Well, it's, June June it's, June it's June 9th now. It's June 9th now. So, <laughs> so a week be. from tomorrow, which is okay. uh, the Six, 16th. 17th? 17th? 18th? I can't add this one doing the show. Someone help us out. <laughs> So, Mark, I must I must uh, thank you for inviting us here. Oh, and God. you have, when I was a little young munchkin sneaking in, seeing you play and hearing you do your thing, your talent is just beyond. So we're very oh. fortunate to have you here doing this thing. I'm glad that you are part of this continuing thing, uh, uh, as well as what you do on Encore Chat. We're keeping music and, and what we do and art and, and, and video like right in the forefront of, 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 of where it should be. And, and you can access this through broadband, uh, uh, com, broadband uh, box office com or my website. And you can get in touch with these guys. We'll put a link on my website as, as well as on the show here too. Um, thank you so much for coming down. Now I know that you're gonna do one more. We're gonna do a little PSA and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do another, another, another song. <laughs> Right, we better go to it. Should commercial. we go? Yes, right, we're going. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Honey, gather up the dependents. I'm star. The what? The two dependents we claim. <laughs> Be a good spouse and bring them to the table. Have you finished the taxes yet? Of course, my lovely 223 dash. Honey, my social security uh -oh. number starts with 233. mailed the taxes yet, have you? Please double check each name and social security number on your U.S. income tax form. Include the correct first name, middle initial, and last name of all dependents along with their correct social security numbers because just one wrong name or number could delay your tax refund. I was too busy acting like a big shot. I didn't double check. Oh, sweetheart. Last night when you were out bowling, I made the corrections. You did? <laughs> oh, honey, I'm nuts about you. And now the news, as opposed to the olds, as we were talking about earlier. Deja vu. Deja vu. <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, continuity. It's something. That... <sighs> now, just because I don't know what I'm doing doesn't mean I'm a dopey head or an in-studio network news director whose ultimate job should be the transitioning of content to the public airwaves in a fairly responsible manner. Not what I have been subject to as of late. At the end of maybe one particular item through a segue to the next item of news, which unfortunately lately has been going something like this. Hey, thanks for that new chef, RuPaul, huh? He's a chef now, and he's got that tasty cookie recipe. I could just eat through the next commercial break. Now, over to the news desk with Mika Berezanski. Hey, you guys, save me some of that scrumptious chocolate chip. Twelve people have died in a bus accident on the Connecticut Turnpike. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> really? R really? Like, and the director is back there going, you know, maybe we should, like, a, be make a better segue than that. I mean, what? Uh, hey, folks, listen. Lick your freaking fingers and keep an eye on the interns. That's all I'm saying. Go get some donuts and think about what you're doing. Put down the donut and remember you're supposed to be the guardians of the air. Okay? Get passionate again. Okay, you don't have to get passionate. I hate when anybody says, you have to be passionate. You have to be passionate if you want to do this. You have to be passionate about your art. You, have to, you know what? Blah, 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 blah. You know what? You, ha you don't have to be passionate. Okay? You just have to pay attention and get better at what you're doing. Okay? And then ultimately, you'll have fun. But it'll be good. <sighs> Speaking of good, I love these men. And uh, I hope that you get to know them better. Once again, Eastern Potato.
Your first time as a junior achievement elementary school volunteer can be a little scary. Can you get kids that young to think about their futures? Call us about volunteering and you'll see. We'll supply you with training for this new program and the kids will supply plenty of motivation. We're back. Believe it or not. Anyway, we decided to have a contest. Yes, to run a contest for the Mark Davidson Show. If there's anything more consistent in the universe, it's that uh, change is the consistent uh, 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 link in the universe. However, on a TV show, it's always good to have something that, that looks the same from show to show. We decided uh, that we were going to figure out what hairstyle I, I should use and, and then, of course, continue that, that hairstyle uh, throughout every show so that when you see it, you'll recognize it for what it is or maybe what it isn't. I don't know. So we decided to, to show these to you and uh, they're numbered one through five and you can pick out your uh, favorite Mark Dacey hairstyle and, of course, that's the one that uh, I'll be stuck with. And y it's like an interplay. Uh, what do they call those, those computer games where you, what do they call those computer games where the interactive, it's an interactive TV show. Sort of. So we're going to run these for you, and then, of course, you can write in and, and tell us which one. So here we go. Yes, this is the uh, generic Buttafuoco informant look. There you go. Not, not bad, huh? Okay. Okay, that's number one. Number two, here, Don King meets Bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's one, of, one of my favorites, actually. All right, number three, here we go. The just plain Claude Van Damme look, huh? Kind of like that. That's number three. Number three. Number four, ladies and gentlemen, number four. Coming up uh, for your viewing pleasure, number four is, and here in each second now, is the Bono meets Marley. There you go, number four. Hey, number four. Of course, I'll be wearing those glasses every time. I don't know. And, of course, big number five. The big number five, folks. We got Mick Jagger wannabe. Huh? Well, not bad, not a bad look. I wouldn't have to worry about the, you know, working it up every night. I could just, you know, roll out of bed and come to the studio and <laughs> perch, parch my lips, perch my lips, p uh, poach my lips, believe it, per purse, purse my lips, believe it or not. There's the Jack Collins. Anyway, so I've got a hat on. I'm going to have to keep the hat on until all the entries come in. So keep those cards and letters coming and let us know what you think about, you know, which one is the best because we're going to have to know. We have to get some, some consistency. We have to get some, some uh, uh, priority straight here in the show. If we're going to make a success of this, why we have to make it into something bigger than life? It has to be, it has to be Chobin. We'll be back after a pause and a word from your sponsor on the Mark Dacey Show Unsigned. And there's a good reason for that, as I'm sure you well reckon by now.
bass. Oh, yeah, I wasn't a bad uh, show. So thanks for tuning in. Issa Potato has been my guest. So nice to have him come down, work hard for you. Don McClay on photography, behind the scenes, webcasting stuff back there, man, working the camera hard, baby, baby. Hey, Kevin, thanks for helping out, man. Nice to meet you, brother. Ow, 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 ow. Our illustrious director, Pat Maruki, behind the controls in the mystery room. Yeah, coming to you on our broadband box office.com directly from VK Media Studios here on the East Coast. Freaking good time tonight. Thank you. Oh, yeah, oh, God, yeah. Adios, my friends. Adios. My name is Tom Ragu of the Tom Ragu Sit Down Comedy Show. You can listen to us at the Broadband Box Office. And for more information, please visit www.tomragu.com slash podcast. Hi, I'm Randy Lupo, host of the Randy Lupo Show on Broadband Box Office. Wait, is that a tongue twister or an alliteration? Come meet my favorite people, comedians, actors, writers, spiritual people, and everyone in between. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Hi, everybody. How are you? I'm Bob Gonzo of The Bob Gonzo Show. And I'm here to introduce The Bob Gonzo Show to you. Watch The Bob Gonzo Show on ComedyMondays.com and iTunes. Once again, ComedyMondays.com and iTunes. Watch it live or you can watch it on the archives, which means you can watch it forever. Bob Gonzo is the greatest show on the internet right now. It's the funniest, it's the sweetest, it's endearing. We have stand-up comics, we have bands, we have actors, we have people in the fashion industry. We have everything you need. So once again, The Bob Gonzo Show, the greatest show in the world. And if you watch it, you will become a better and happier and sweeter person. You, 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 you. Watch the Bob Gonzo Show, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, this is Dr. Barry Prostowski. I invite you to watch Courageous Doctors, an exciting new show on broadband box office about how healthcare is affecting you today.